you know what I haven't heard in a while? A load of feminists moaning about how they're treated on the internet. As a woman on YouTube, I would describe my experience as... Oh, come on! Careful. Careful? You're posting videos, not finger-banging a mountain lion. Fucking careful. Empowering. Well, that's a fucking weird word to use, but I guess we can't get through a feminist video without it, can we? Brave. Well, no, it's not. Being the first subscriber on a new channel is brave. You're just there. There's a lot of judgment when it comes to women and the kind of content they create. Judgment by other women? Yeah, you guys are cunts to each other. People tend to sexual- Shut the fuck up. I just want to be out there and really empower girls with sexuality. But for some reason, when I empower young generation with sexuality, I'm seen as a slut. Well, I mean, it, it depends where you draw the line for that word, doesn't it? For instance, walking into a room and having every head turn your way and men falling at your feet is empowering, whereas noshing off a guy called Gavin in the front seat of his Vauxhall Corsa because you couldn't afford the bus fare home is slutty. Focusing on things that you're saying and the points you're trying to make, they'll focus on, you know, what you look like that day or how much they would like to do certain things to you. Well then consider what you're saying is fucking boring. And it affects me because I'm a woman. Yeah, enough said, right? I could be giving a heartfelt personal story about some hardship that I've gone through. And now, just like then, no one fucking cares. I have this ability of blocking off everything that is bad. <laughs> you see, you're joking, but that's actually how normal people get through life. You're just a slut. You don't deserve to live. Fuck that. Sluts make the fucking world go round. Imagine a world without sluts. Industry would just stop. Shut up and go do your makeup. Show us what lipstick you use or something, you know, you women do that are useful. In what world is you showing me your lipstick useful? That is the opposite of useful. I wouldn't even rape you. <laughs> I had a conversation with... Fucking hell, their name must be messed up. Something like nigger McDenying the Holocaust. Who said that, uh, listen Olga, if you're not getting lots of opportunities, your channel will disappear in the next two years, unless you'll go back to basics and spread your legs. Sound advice. And you're with us now, so I guess it worked. We'll have described in detail in an email that took 15 minutes to read how Bria should wrap me up in duct tape until I suffocate to death, and then those people could come and watch. Well, that was explained pretty concisely, so if it took 15 minutes to read it, I'm guessing that's your fault. I can put a lot of thought into something, and I can put my heart into something, and sometimes I, I'll say it, and I'll make a video that is probably great, and I won't even post it, because I feel like people are gonna look at it, and you know, they won't take it seriously. Well, I didn't take that statement seriously, but if you will have me believe that you will refrain from doing something because someone somewhere might not like it, then you don't deserve to be taken seriously. Just because you think that some people might not appreciate what you brewing up in your head, just go for it and push it out there. Well, fucking tell that to the other bitch. Why do you think it takes 200 channels to find the top 20 female channels? That's really embarrassing. Yep, and that is also probably why. As a woman, I am offered far less money than my male counterparts that have similar views and subscribers. Well, AdSense discriminates against gender. Fuck. I've actually had to come to the point where I make a fake email that's a man. Mine is Ryan, <laughs> and he will respond to emails from brands for me, and he will negotiate for me. Yeah, that's cool, but you are technically getting a man to do all the work. The whole society, as a woman, I would like to say, listen, we pop babies out of our vaginas. Why does it always come down to fucking childbirth? All the fucking- Look, that is your job. As far as the planet's concerned, that is the one thing expected of you. And that's the one thing, the one responsibility that men cannot share with you. And you still make a big deal out of it. If we could do the childbirth part and you just had to carry it around for nine months, you'd still be like, oh, but it's heavy. We can do anything. Yeah, you can piss and moan to an Olympic standard. Before you say something negative or before you spread more hatred because of whatever insecurity you have about yourself, just think about the impact that you could have if you chose to say something positive. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Something positive that I'm willing to bet you wish somebody could have told you. All right, I guess from now on, instead of saying a woman's fat, I'll say she has a bubbly personality. People know what I mean either way. Thank you for watching, guys, and remember, you should only tell someone you wouldn't rape them if you really mean it.